Hi, I'm John Spender and welcome to Motion Coaching. Now it was only 18 months ago that I decided to make a career change. Now 18 months ago, I was a landscaper. I had a landscaping business for five years. And I don't know if you can relate to this, but I was just, I've been you know, traveling quite a bit extensively overseas. But I came back and I still wasn't feeling fulfilled. I was coming back to my business and I just wasn't satisfied. I felt like I needed to do more to fulfill myself. So I decided to join a coaching program. And in that first year I did something like over 26 seminars all over the world. And I've been personally trained. In that time I was personally trained by Blair Singer, Chris Howard, T. Harvecker just to name a few. Very privileged, and that's enabled me to formulate a unique coaching program. Now before that, within two months, I was coaching my own clients. Now the, the main turning point for me was when I did some, when a mentor of mine suggested I do some charity work at Mission Australia here in Sydney. And it would help me get outside of myself. And I just had some, just a, some more, small emotional problems at the time. I wasn't feeling totally confident, especially in social situations. I was quite shy around new group, groups of people. And that was affecting me. I was allowing that to affect me. And so I went to Mission Australia and I thought it was a totally different setup to what I expected. I was expecting some sort of soup kit, kitchen setup. But it was totally different. The facilities there are world class. They run university programs. They have a doctor and dental facilities. They have a job centre there. They have crisis accommodations there. And the facilities are, are really, are really top notch. So I went in there and I had an interview, and they had a space in between the university programs, you see. And they wanted like a speaker to come in, and I wasn't what I was expected, but I really wanted to make a difference and I really wanted to grow and expand myself and I wanted to be a leader of the coaching program. And I'm a whatever it takes type of guy. When I make a decision to do something, I'm all or nothing. So I thought, what the heck, I, well, I can speak. Even though I'd never spoken in front of a group of people before in my life, I mean never. And I had to come up with my own topics, and it was for five weeks. I mean, I'd never spoken in front of a group of people before in my life. And I watched uh, this, this DVD. <laughs> it was presented by someone else, but it was Tony Robbins' syntax on how to present to a group of people. And I just modeled that and worked it within my topics. And my first topic was speaking with confidence, and I thought I had none. And definitely you should have heard my heartbeat, heart racing. And so I went in to do my first class. And then I went on to another subject that I came up with was increasing your self-esteem. And that's something that I didn't feel that I had a lot of. I was putting myself down a lot. I was one of those people that would just beat myself up, you know, with the negative self-talk. And I'd have arguments with myself. You may or may not be able to relate to this. Well, that, certainly that was my world, you know, only 15 months ago. And by connecting with these people, I mean, some of these people were medicated to the eyeballs on antidepressants, de depress de depressants, and they were doing depression. A lot of them were doing depression. Some of the other ones were just falling on hard times had no family to fall back on and were really, you know, who hasn't fallen on tough times or had challenging periods in their life. So I just connected to these people and treated them like a human being and just applied just th different things that I actually learned in this coaching program. You know, changing state, getting to look at a, a pen, getting to look up and smile and get to experience a wider and broader spectrum of emotions that I hadn't been feeling for a very long time, some of these people. 
and five weeks turned into three months and I started growing confidence and I started to get my own clients outside of Mission Australia. So here I was teaching, mentoring, coaching these people in the center and I was getting great results. One particular guy named Ty came in and his eyes were bulging out of his head on antidepressants and, and God knows what else, a whole range of medication they had him on. It was just crazy. And I just connected to him and spoke to him as a human being as a human being and got him to actually talk about his life experiences. I got him to do some of the processes and exercises and just to walk with a smile even when you don't feel good. And that really works. It's a state change and it's an empowering thing to do, especially when you, you're doing depression or if you don't think there's a whole lot for you out there, especially if you're coming from where they were and there wasn't a whole lot. They're staying in crisis accommodation. So Ty, within a month, within a month of working, you know, coming to my classes, being coached and mentored by myself, he create, I was able to help him create the desire that he wanted something more in life, wanted something more for himself. And in doing that, he, would, he left the center, he's got sheer accommodation, he got a job in a kitchen as a kitchen hand, and left the center. And it was like such an amazing, like healing for me as well, going, seeing go through those processes. And reflecting back on the confidence that I was actually able to, to grow and build. The momentum that I got in my own business and within the coaching program. Within three and a half months, I was actually coaching at share strategy events. And helping people with their mindset around something new. Taking on a property strategy or a share strategy. And really empowering these people. Working on emotional stuff that would come up, especially when you're starting something new. I mean, we're creatures of habit. So when you put us in different environments and different situations, the benefit of having the support and guidance is just invaluable. It's priceless, really. And I was able to actually, I was privileged enough to witness these people go through transformations and just wanting something more out of life. Not necessarily being broken, but just wanting more out of life and wanting these strategies to work and wanting to leave their job they're in now that some people have been in for like 15, 20 years were just tired of it and wanted more freedom in their life. And I got so many results, I was able to actually help hundreds of people, not only in Mission Australia, but through coaching at these share strategy events and then also in my own practice. See, for me, it was a huge transformation within myself. Now, I was just focused on building momentum and moving forward. But at the beginning of the program, I mean, I was one of the shyest people on the course. I was one of the, we used to go to these boot camps. And it wasn't until I started to get sort of comfortable, and even with the results I was getting, I wasn't the most confident person. And I had some emotional issues of myself to deal with that I was just suppressing and, you know, didn't want to deal with. But once I let some light in there, I was able to make some real progress and having a balanced and fulfilling life. Now, I was able to do that for myself. And I can do that for you too. In any area of your life. Whether it's in relationships, whether it's with your finances, whether it's with your career whether it's with more emotional mastery, whether it's with your mindset. All these factors are crucial. Now, if one area of our life is generally going really good, another area might not be going so good. By having that guidance, support, and someone to help you through. So I'm going to give you a series of videos that will actually help you make some changes in your life. If you're wanting more out of life, these videos are for you, so stay tuned. Speak to you soon.